Sometimes when you're working with data in Microsoft Excel, you want to add only some of the entries that you find in the table. In this example that you have on the screen, we have invoices to several cities in Illinois. I have put the Rockford ones in red. Let's assume we just want to add that number and have a cell that displays the subtotal. There's a very great formula that you can use that makes this process so simple. And I'd like to show it to you now. So what we're going to do is click on cell C15. And when I click on C15, if you look at the formula bar at the top, you see the same text I have to the right here. And this is the way we normally would solve this problem. We would go up with our mouse and click on cell C4, hit the plus key and add cell C7, and then cell C9 and cell C12. And we'd get a correct answer. But let me show you a much faster and easier way to do that, especially in a long list where you might miss one of the entries you're looking for. We use the sum if formula. And I'm going to click now in cell number C16, and you see the sum if formula in the formula bar at the top. I also have it repeated here in cell D16. Now, the, the form of it is sum if, and then it's a brackets. The first bracket is the range where we're looking for the data we want to match. And so here it is B2 through B12, which is my cities. So I'm going to look for some data in that range of cells. And then I put a comma. And then since I'm looking for text, you can also match numbers, but we're going to use text for now. I am going to put in quotes Rockford, which is the city I'm looking for. If you notice on the f line below it, I can also put equal Rockford in quotes, uh, same difference. And then I put a comma after I type in what I'm looking for. And then I type the name of the range in which the data is found to match it. And I'm looking uh, not in the invoice column or the due date column. I'm looking at the amount column, which is C2 to C12. And so that's the formula that does all that hard work for me. I, I'm illustrating this with the same number below that I can use the actual coordinates of the ranges. Or in cell C17, I'm using the name of the ranges. Because here, I named this range from C2 to C12. I called that city. And I called the range over here in, I'm sorry, B2, C2 to C12 to be amount. So it's the same formula. This one uses a coordinates. And the line below, line C, uh, cell C17, uses the range names instead. Now, I'll show you an example of what I did with Peoria. If we click on this cell here, this is easy to verify because if you look up Peoria is in green, it's $100,000 added to roughly $295,000. And so you can see it did the math correctly. Let's for fun just create one in a cell over here. Uh, we'll call this equal sum if left bracket. Now we'll do our range. I'm going to use a range name, but remember if you forget the name of a range, you hit your F3 key. Oh, uh, so I, I'll go down and I'm looking for the city and I'll click OK. Then I hit my comma and then I'm looking for my criteria. So I'll put them in a quote. We'll do jo uh, Joliet. OK, we'll end the quote. Got to type it right. And then we need the following range. Well, I forgot the name of that too, so I'll hit my F3 key again, and oh, that's the amount. I'll click on there and click OK, and then use my closing bracket. And as you see, it correctly gave me the amount uh, that I find in cell C6, since there's only one entry for Joliet. This is a great little formula that can save you lots of time. I hope you find it useful as you grow in your knowledge of Microsoft Excel.